now in its fifth year, the Bridgestone Eco Rally is a celebration of alternatively powered transport of all shapes and sizes. Ford entered two Transit Connect electrics and asked vans A to Z to take care of getting one of them from the kickoff in Oxford to the finish, 75 miles away on the Mall in London. The rally comprised of more than 30 of the latest low and zero emission vehicles, including Postman Pat in a Citroen Nemo, cars, motorbikes, vans, trucks, coaches and even a fuel cell powered black cab. The convoy included a few celebrity drivers, such as the unlikely pairing of Sam Fox and Kim Woodburn, and the all-round good egg Robert Llewellyn. Having left Oxford, our editor Neil McKinty, accompanied by Tim Nicklin, Electric Vehicles Product Manager for Ford of Britain, headed for the M40 for the first leg of the trip. Yeah, Ford have announced five electrified products in Europe, uh, which will be rolled out in the next uh, two years. So this is the first. Next year we follow that with uh, an electric focus car. Uh, and then in 2013 we've got three products coming. We've got a, a hybrid C-Max, a plug-in hybrid C-Max, uh, and another uh, larger hybrid vehicle. Motorways are not the natural habitat of EVs, and even driving at a conservative 40 miles per hour to preserve battery charge, it was an energy sapping experience. A lunch stop at the building research establishment in Watford was a welcome break and a chance for a one-hour top-up for the Connect's lithium-ion battery pack. Suitably refreshed, the Connect and its crew left Watford and headed south down the M1 towards the capital, much more the natural habitat of an electric van. It was now much happier tackling the stop-start driving of London's congested roads rather than motorways. Much to our surprise, we were one of the first to arrive at the staging point in Birdcage Wall, despite being one of the last to leave the midway pit stop. This electric van. No way! way. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a short run to the finish, and the Connects crossed the line in tandem, still with over a quarter of their charge remaining. We'll leave the final words to Robert Llewellyn. Robert, yes. Great to see you here. Nice how, to see you. how was it for you? It was really good. It was good. I mean, it was. That, I've done it quite a few years, it's always slightly chaotic, no one's quite sure where they're going or what they're, what they're driving, but today was really good, beautiful day, and all the cars worked, nobody broke down, nobody ran out of juice, it was all, it, we all got here fine, and there's a, what's encouraging is every year there's a few more, almost like production vehicles, like this, I mean the, the, this van is brilliant, I just think it's so good that these things are starting to arrive, they're starting to be produced, you know, when I first did it there was kind of one electric car that just about made it, and then there was and there was a lot of sort of bioethanol cars and things like that. This year there's a lot of different electric cars made by a lot of different manufacturers. They all can do the job now, today, you know, I think that's the important thing. And, and there's, this, uh, the, the public interest in it is ramping up. People are starting to be aware that they are plausible, that they are possible, that they are available, you know. And, and there's loads of problems still, they're still too expensive for a lot of people, blah, blah, blah. It's just like a ordinary car only better which is how I and think of course it's events like this that just bring them more to the fore it does, as well. it, it, does. It, it definitely heightens the awareness there's a lot more people here looking at the cars this year than before it's been you know there's a real crowd now gathering around them and they're very interested in them and they want and so they're not immediately looking at them going yeah well it wouldn't work for me because I have to do they go how how fast is that going how powerful is that engine and how big are those batteries and people are gradually it's an educational process really yeah. isn't it? Robert thank you very much no thanks problem. for your time all right thank you